The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we're going to take a little detour this morning. I want to show the DAX with that beautiful uh, three uh, butterfly pattern that was made. You can see the beautiful ABCD structure completing the butterfly and then the huge rally uh, that we had. I'm not sure. Uh, what caused it, but it still went up, brought us uh, up in the market also. But I did have a real interesting phone call yesterday, folks, uh, after the close. Um, John Shervany called me last night. He's the gentleman that we had on yesterday from the Mer old Merck days, and he really, he was really feeling badly. He said, you know, Larry, he said, I haven't done these in years. And he said, it's the first time I've had an interview and probably said 25 years. I said, I hope I didn't lose all your customers. And I said, no, I said, all five of them stayed with me, so we're in good shape. But he, he really felt bad, and then we started talking, and we brought, oh, gosh, he's got so much information, folks, and memories. Now, I'm going to share a few of them here with you, but uh, he's coming down tomorrow. He's in Scottsdale visiting his daughter. So he and Irene are going to come down and have lunch with uh, Sarah and I, and luck would have it. Another good friend who we all know is Byron Tucker, who knows uh, John also is going to be there. So it's going to be a, like old home week with stories and stuff. But uh, one of my more interesting stories is when I first got to the Merck and I got to meet Byron Tucker. He was one of the first people that I met. And I was an outsider, folks. I was coming from California. And I did all of my gold trading and silver trading through New York, uh, not through the CME gold trade. And so I hadn't made any friends over there in that side of the pit. I was really pretty well connected to the meat pits because we did all of our meat trading through the Merck, which was the only choice you had. And we did a lot with catalogs and bellies. Uh, through those years. But uh, when I first got there, I asked Byron, I said, who are some of the better traders? And Byron pointed out to me, Herschel Herendorf, whose younger brother traded in the gold pit. Herschel was in T-bills. Herschel looked like Omar Sharif. He's really a handsome fellow. They were both from Israel. Their mother brought them here uh, in 19, right after 1948, after they had, uh, you know, had independence. And they were from, uh, were, lived in Chicago, and that's where they worked. But they were very, very private and really, uh, they, they, they kept to themselves pretty much all the time. I stood at the back of the T-bill pit, and I really, you know, I, I spoke to him a few times, you know, not really just hello, that type of thing. And I always watched what he was doing. Well, uh, on Friday, I had a schedule that I always kept, and that was on Friday. I would leave McClure-Clort, take the bus over to, because uh, it was easier to take a bus that time of the morning than to get a cab, and it dropped me off right at the corner of Jackson, and I've and, the, and Lou Mitchell's restaurant. Lou Mitchell's is the breakfast and lunch place there, about a block away from the Merck. It's still there. It's You can always, if you're ever in that area, just go on Jackson. You'll see all kinds of police cars there because the policemen eat there all the time. And it's a great breakfast. They serve the bacon and eggs in a skillet. It's a double oak egg. So two eggs basically have four oaks, four yolks, homemade bread, uh, ranch style bacon, uh, home fries, just really a great. And I did that every Friday. And I always sat at the counter and I would sit on the far left side of the counter. So if anybody sat next to me, I would be able to, to hear them because I can't hear out of my left ear. Well, I'm sitting there and pretty soon two guys walk in and it's pretty crowded and they sit down right next to me. And it was none other than Tony Gans and Tom Dittmer of Refco. Refco was the, the biggest firm on in the Merck and he was, uh, you know, with his $5,000 suit. And, uh, and we had breakfast and he would ask me questions like, could you please pass the ketchup or please pass the salt? That was about the extent of the uh, of the conversation. But, you know, we were sitting there. And then when I got up to leave, you know, I patted them both on the shoulder. I said, have a good day. And, you know, I went off to work and stuff. Well, when I got back to the Merck, uh, it was not Friday, but the following Monday, I'm down in the in the uh, in the lunchroom uh, at the in the in the members lounge. And uh, 
Herschel came up to me and uh, he said, how long you and Dittmer been friends? <laughs> and I said, well, I said, I'm, uh, I'm very, I said, I know um, his father-in-law. I said, his, his father-in-law's uh, buddy is my good friend. And I said, that's basically how I know the family and stuff. And Ray Friedman was a whole, a REF, it was REF was Ray E. Friedman Company at the Merck. It was a little uh, hog and cattle place, but Ray got into trouble and he went to prison. He was, uh, I don't know, remember what it was for, something like little stuff like extortion, money laundering, you know, that kind of stuff. But uh, his, uh, his, his, uh, his new wife that he had married had a son, and this son was at the uh, White House as the Marine Guard during the administration of John Fitzgerald Kennedy. His name was Tom Dittmer. And Tom Dittmer's mother married Ray Friedman. Well, when Ray Fre when Tom Dittmer left the Marine Corps, a miraculous thing happened. He, Mr. Friedman was given a pardon from the administration, from the uh, JFK administration. So Friedman was, um, you know, fr uh, free. And so Tom Dittmer took over uh, Ray E. Friedman, and they turned, they called it REFCO, R-E-F-C-O. Ray Friedman's very, very best friend from high school is a man named Johnny Quinn. And Johnny Quinn owned the Las Vegas hotel called the Plaza in downtown. And that's how a lot of this stuff got started. But anyway, that's what happened. And, of course, REFCO became very, very large and uh, a lot of things going. Another interesting story about that, that uh, – that was really funny that uh, John reminded me of it. He says, every time the, the Revco have big bonuses, their Christmas bonuses and stuff, the first thing they would do would get a chartered airplane, send them to Las Vegas so they could gamble at the at the uh, Plaza Hotel, and they would pay them in cash so, so that they'd lose most of their money. It was really, uh, really quite funny. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do here, I posted the chart uh, for the um, DAX. We want to look at the other one. I have one other small story that was funny, but uh, John John's going to come back on. He, he's really got a lot of great stuff, folks. Uh, it's just that he was a little afraid to say some of it because some of it is a little bit uh, risque, but uh, we can handle the risque, I think, if we do it uh, with a uh, you know pretty easily thing here. Let's take a look. Yes, Hillary traded through uh, Redbone at Refco, and Redbone was out of Arkansas. And uh, he was a pretty uh, astute young fellow. Hold on here a second here. We want to take the next one, which is the... Um, the FTSE, you'll notice here on the FTSE, it's not been nearly as bullish as the uh, as the DAX here. It's been strong, but we've sold off after that big ABCD pattern. But the one that is interesting here, here we go. Here's a crisis on. Uh, Philip Bennett. <laughs> oh, only $430 million. Back in the old days, in Chicago, uh, Refco was right on uh, LaSalle Boulevard, and LaSalle is, you know, the street that runs into the Merck building, or the Board of Trade building on Jackson, and it was harder to get into the Refco office than it was the CIA. That's how, that's how well controlled it was. Let's just move on here a little bit. Um, by the way, I think Hillary made on a $2,000 account or something, no, $5,000 account, I believe she took out $100,000 in option trading with no losses. And, and, you know, as we know, she was very smart, and I'm sure she was a good trader. So we'll uh, we'll see. She didn't do any more trading after that. I guess that was enough to, to make her happy. Uh, let's take a look at the one thing that's interesting here, and then we'll get to some of these other charts that we want to talk to, and I'll tell you one other fun story that I happen to know about. This is the bun chart, folks. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I need to finish that Tom Dittmer story. Anyway, uh, after Herschel saw me sitting there with him, he assumed that we were colleagues or friends, which I didn't disavow it, but I didn't say anything more about it. A couple of days later, I'm sitting there, and he's there with his brother, Josh, and I could tell, you know, they came up, and we were all sitting together, and I could tell something was wrong, and I asked him, and I said, Herschel, I says, what's wrong? And he said, oh, he says, family stuff. I said, you got somebody sick? And he said, yeah. He says, my mom, she says she's got diabetes, and, you know, she takes uh, insulin shots, and, uh, you know, the Eli Lilly, or the, he didn't know it, but he said the, the company only makes uh, pork insulin, and my wife, my mother won't take it because, you know, she's Jewish. And I said, well, why don't you get beef insulin? And he said, well, it's not available. And I said, of course it is. I, and I would, you know, I worked for Eli Lilly and they were the number one people for making interest in, in uh, insulin. They started it back in 1938, I believe. So I, I called uh, my friend out in uh, Eli Lilly in Indianapolis and I asked him, uh, how do we get some beef insulin to this uh, lady? And he said, um, get me the name of the doctor and find out what the dose is. And he said, we'll ship some up to her. So sure enough, a couple of days later, a whole year's supply of beef insulin arrived at Mrs. Herendorf's house. And uh, after that, Herschel and Josh treated me like a prince, which was really a lot easier because uh, I was one of the few people that they chatted with down there all the time and uh, never talked about money all we, or hardly ever talked about um markets most of what we talk about with cubs and the and the uh, uh, bears that was mainly and also the bulls of course uh, because uh, Michael Jordan hadn't started there yet but we still had some friends that we and of course Ernie Banks we liked Ernie Banks but anyway that's how that all got started uh, take a look at that chart that we just posted here on the Treasury bond folks I need to uh, pay, pay, pay close attention to this because th this to me is very very important I had an email last night 
Someone asked me to tell me what I thought the three most important things that were happening this week, and I'm going to tell you right now, this is one of the major ones. You notice that we broke and we started to break down from that multiple 61% retracement. We hit it four times over the past month, up there in that 147 level, uh, just spot on. But the key part about this is what we're going to see next, and this is the long-term weekly chart that we talk about all the time in the Treasury bonds. Let's just take a look at it here. You'll see the high we made back in June of 2016 was a big, big three drive to a top pattern all during 2015-16. And then you had the big expansion up there. You can see that 1.618 number in blue. Uh, it was right up at that. And that's when they changed over the, um, the, the uh, that one contract month because actually the high was right around 170. But because of the expiration of that March contract, it pushed it up higher because of the specifications on that were a lot different. But the key part of this is from 2016 to 2017, we had a really tough bear market. We went from 178, you know, all the way down to 146, that's $32,000. We then rallied, you can see, the rally was a 38% rally, took about, oh, nine months to complete. That sets up the ABCD pattern to the downside, as you can see down here at 128. Well, let's fast forward here and see what's happened over the last few months. After that high was made in August of 2017, we came down to 136. And what did we do? We rallied up to a 50% retracement, which was an exact equal rally that we had had during 2017. And if you don't believe me, as Mr. Twentyman says, defy human nature and do the work yourself because this is uh, – this is very, very important that these equal rallies because look what happens when you take both of those A, B, C, D patterns together. What kind of a target do you get? 128. And where are we at now? We're at 144. Notice the last bar that's on here, folks. This week's bar, you'll see that we're down two full handles. We're just preparing to break the 144 level as we speak this morning. That means we're going to be taking out the lows of the last uh, six weeks after a little rally that didn't amount to any more than a hill of beans. And that means this market looks like it wants to go higher, i.e. lower interest rates. So we'll see if that's the, the main thing. Yes, it was, David, you've got more information. The only thing I remember about that thing about Eli Lilly is it was, they were on a plane coming from Iowa State University, a Lilly executive along with Banning, uh, Banning and Best. It was Banning, Best, and Collop, I think, were the three guys. And uh, they didn't know what to do with it. And Lily said, let us let us make insulin for you. And one thing led to another, and that's pretty much it. You know, it's uh, pretty good. Boy, they still make it. Uh, Squibb made it for a while, and there are other, other people too. But now they have all different kinds of generic stuff that is uh, very, very important. So we'll see. Okay, that's the one thing that I think is important. The second thing that I think is very, very important, and that is this gold market, folks. We've been watching this now for just about a month after that top was made. You know, back on, uh, well, it's not been a month. It's only been uh, two weeks since that top was made at 1351. Uh, but this thing is really set up that it wants to go to 1299. We, we're just, we're ready to take out the lows of um that we made way back on the 13th. That's around 1305. I think we just took those out just a minute ago. And that sets up the uh, objective of either between 1298 and 1292. The 1292 is the 38% 38, 38 retracement, okay, from the low we made way back in November of 2018. And and if you look at look at November 2018, folks, look at this darn thing. It's the same type of, uh, you know, what they, uh, <laughs> it's really, uh, it's, it's exactly the same distance. And you're going to be down two harmonic numbers when you get down to that level. So that's why I think it's going there. First of all, it, this is a Friday in a down week. It's going to take some type of pretty good move of uh, news event to get the you know the uh, the the bulls to uh, change their mind and not be afraid today, and the shorts to uh, you know lose their uh, composure because they they're in control right now. And the other the other the other factor about this is if we look at the silver that we have been looking at, you'll see that we're not very far away. I believe we're trading around. Uh, the uh, five uh, five fifty level we've taken out. We're almost ready to take out that uh, fifteen forty 
1540 takes you right down to the 382 retracement again at 1520. So that's what it looks like in the in the silver. So this is what I'm uh, looking at. I haven't uh, looked at Dr. Copper in a long time, but I tell you what we will do, Peak, right after the break, I will put Dr. Copper up and take a look at it. But before we do that, we have to look at something we never look at here, and that is palladium. They've asked me to take a look at that. Uh, here's palladium. This is a... Um, a weekly chart you'll notice that this week look at the top up there folks you see that little red box where it says 1.618 that's the move between 2016 and 2017 making a 1.618 ABCD move and if you'll notice that the move between 2017 and 2018 ABCD down there at 800 we're now trading at we got as high as 1550 we're at 1495 today and if we were to look at this, and I do not trade platinum or palladium, I never have, but I do want to bring to your attention, if you went to a four-hour chart with palladium, you'd be able to see that at the time it was making that uh, 1.618 expansion, you'll see that it was making a, a three-drive pattern with a beautiful ABCD over the past four or five trading days using a four-hour chart. So any move back to that 1520 level to me would suggest it's probably going to be a short sale. So we'll see. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks, and we posted the chart of the copper, and you'll notice the double top that we had up there at the 332 level. We came down in August of this year. We made a double bottom in August, made a slightly lower low in January, which is what you love to see because that means there was no stops down there, and that was a sign that there was a pretty good chance that the market was going to turn, and which, in fact, it did. The 61% retracement on this comes in at 302. That's six cents from where we are right now. I don't see any reason why we're not going to make that because there is a there is a smaller ABCD pattern that is here that I that I think is uh, you know pretty important. And the reason why is the fact that it couldn't uh, just barely make a 382 retracement. I think what I'll do is to print this out for you, post it in here so you can see it. And that'll take you up to that level that you're looking at. Actually, it goes a little bit higher. It goes up to about 305. But we'll bring this up so you can take a look at it. It doesn't look bearish as opposed to the one for palladium that does look bearish. The copper certainly looks like it has some more to go uh, to the upside, but it's still uh, a bit early. Now, that was the um, the first one we had that the person asked about was the uh, what I thought was the most important thing this week. And, of course, the, n the number one thing was the uh, Treasury bonds, the fact that they're they're breaking down. In fact, we're trading 144 even now. We're moving over from March to June now. So that's a, that's an important thing to uh, pay close attention to. And then the next one that uh, they asked about was the, um, the NASDAQ. And I wanted to uh, bring that to your attention here because, oh, where are you, NASDAQ? I just had it all ready to go. Boy, this is embarrassing. Every time I get on these darn things, I and I put them in order, and all of a sudden when I get them in order, they dis ah, there it is, right up there at the top. Here's the NASDAQ that we're looking at. You'll notice that uh, this was still supposed to be a down week. You can tell by the red candle that it's out there right there. That's the, the head and shoulders pattern. Uh, if it turns to be a green candle, then uh, that means we're going to be up 10 weeks. We're still making a head and shoulders pattern. So that, to me, is uh, the second most important thing uh, that, we're, that we're seeing as we go through these. And then uh, the other one that I, that I think is really important to look at, and I'll, I'll do it a couple different ways. And this is the, uh, this is the uh, uh, European stocks. This comes from our good friend, Jim Bartolioni. And uh, you'll put this up here to take a look at it because you'll see that the high back there was, could have been a major high. You'll notice that the rallies that they had through here, there was one, two, three. We're going through our fourth run right now. And this one is an ABCD coming in at the 382 retracement. This is European stuff, folks. This isn't the U.S. This is European. We see this in the DAX. We see it in the um, FTSE also. But this is basically Zurich, and uh, those uh, are the main uh, companies in that from what I was told. So all of those are telling you that there's a possibility here that we're looking at some type of a relatively significant high coming in or, around that time. So that's an, that's very important. There was one other one that I I didn't bring uh, didn't bring up, but I probably should, and that's the you know the state of where we are with the U.S. dollar here, because the U.S. dollar has been setting between this uh, 97 and 96 level for quite some time, and uh, we'll bring this up to you just to take a look at it. Uh, and this is all related to the euro and all the others. Of course, you'll notice that we have. Um, we, we had a five-day sell-off, a tiny three-day rally, and the market has gone absolutely sideways, sideways for the whole week. That means something big is getting ready to happen. Uh, Norm Winsky, who will be our guest on March the 5th, has uh, told us that he's got some very, very big cycles uh, coming due right at that time. So we'll pay attention to what Norm has to say and see if we can get some good information. We'll also, on Monday, we're going to have Bill Meridian from Cycles Research out of Vienna, Austria, as our guest, and he always has some good stuff, too. So we'll be able to, to do that. Uh, I have one other story that I wanted to mention, and uh, we have many friends back on the, the old days back at the Merck. I was fortunate to be back there when things were just uh, just starting to be, <laughs> to be really big, but one of the big traders there uh, that I got to be friends with over the years. He was going through a divorce, and I was living in California. This is now 1986, early 86, 
and I was living up in Avila Beach, California, uh, about seven miles away from Pismo Beach. This was long before the trading house. And anyway, they came out. He came out to visit, and Byron came with him because we were all friends. And our plan was there was going to be a big party on Sunday, and it was uh, related to, oh, shucks, I can't remember. Oh, it was a big coin deal that Steve Markoff had done, and he was throwing a big party for friends, and we were invited. And so what we were going to do is we spent some time up in Pismo Beach, and those boys went salmon fishing every day. And I, well, there were three days, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, uh, we left. We went down to L.A. to hang around. And Friday was the day we were going to go to Hollywood Park. Uh, there was a big race on that day and also one on Saturday. We couldn't go on Saturday because we were busy doing something else. So we went Friday, had a really great time. And it was like the old days. I mean, they still thought that that box was mine because I had left Drexel, you know, in 82. And this was three years later. And they still, the people at the Hollywood Park still thought that, I was the owner of the box. Uh, nobody was there that day, so we had a good time. We had a lot of fun. When we left the Hollywood Park, we went down to uh, the, the the coin store there in Beverly Hills uh, to you know to introduce everybody because Byron had not met them before, and uh, we introduced Mark. And so it was really fun because. Uh, you know, we, we as we walked into the place, I mean, it was it's a beautiful everything, and there was a a young lady there, one of their regular customers, and Bob was one of my my very dear friends, and uh, uh, she always bought gold coins. She'd buy one or two gold coins. And remember, gold's really cheap still then; it's in a couple hundred dollars, and uh, it's come down from you know eight sixty five. Anyway, Alice was there, and Alice was a uh, an extra in the movie business. She was uh, from Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, uh, former number three Miss Tennessee or something like that. Just absolutely a lovely girl, uh, very, very pretty. This is a sweet little Southern Baptist girl, as nice as could be. And when uh, when she walked in and saw saw our friend, I mean, it was like a lightning bolt. I mean, it was like you just can't believe the energy that was there anyway. So uh, she ended up going to the party and uh, one thing led to another. And about four or five days later, he's heading back and I'm taking him to the airport. And he says, we got to stop at the bank. And I said, w w okay. I said, where do you want to go? He said, well, stop there, you know, at, at Santa Monica. He said, there's a bank there that I can wire some money. And I, I said, sure. I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm buying a building. I said, you're what? He said, yeah, I'm buying a building. And I said, why? He said, well, he said, uh, Alan, Alice lives in this duplex, and they're raising your rent by 40%, and I think it's a good investment, so I'm just going to buy the building and keep her rent the same and let her manage the duplex. I said, that sounds like a good idea. Anyway, they went together for about 10 years. Uh, Alice got very sick with uh, leukemia, uh, passed away. And uh, he left the building to her, uh, so it was really, uh, uh, really an old story. But uh, anyway, that's what happened. Let's move on to some of these other markets after we take this other break. I bring these to your attention, folks, because you get to be my age. You know, <laughs> there's a lot of things that you don't want to lose, and uh, these old memories that I have, and some of that fun stuff, it it really does mean uh, mean a lot to me. So. Uh, Bear with me. Some of them won't be as funny as others. Some of them be maybe a little bit more emotional than others. But I'll remember them once in a while, and I'll certainly have some for you on Monday because we're going to be doing a lot of it on Sunday. So it'll be some fun. We're going to have maybe see our good friend Arch Crawford, too. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. 
That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, I've posted the chart of the British pound here because this is what I think is the next most important thing that we have going on because of all this Brexit stuff. You'll notice the, uh, the Brexit high, which was way back on June the 27th of 2016. The market broke all the way down to uh, 120. And actually, I believe the low was just a, a tad under that. And then we had the ABCD rally up to the 78% level, up at that 143. We then came down to the 78% level at uh, 124.65, which enabled us to get long. Uh, we held that for the first um, uh, five and a half, six points of that. And then the market backed off. And you can see uh, that it backed off exactly to that 20-man line that we sometimes talk about. It acts as a fulcrum. That also happened to be a 61% retracement of the low that we made, you know, back here on uh, December. Uh, act, yeah, it was December the, um, actually January the 4th is when it was. And now we had to move up. Now, if we take a look at this on a daily basis, you're going to see that ABCD structure that we looked at. And here's what's happened. You'll notice that after we made this high, uh, several days ago, three days ago, we made the high up there at 133.50. That was the 1.27 expansion, the completion of two ABCD patterns perfectly. And then look what's happened. We have done exactly what we did in late February when we had the 38% pullback. What, what happened yesterday, excuse me, it was just a few hours ago, we made the 132.20 level, which matched the old high from January the 28th. And it was also a 382 retracement of the move from November, from uh, February the 18th up to the high. Those moves were exactly equal. This tells you there's a great deal of support in that British pound at that level. So that was a place to take your profit. And if you go long, if you wanted to, um, our factor, our, our uh, idea here was to just to cover the short being a Friday. And then uh, we'll look at it again. We didn't go long, but uh, we're basically flat that now. 
waiting to see what the next thing is going to be. But the fact that it stopped exactly at that level, the number was 132.20, and the and the low was 132.19. I know you can't make this stuff up, but it was pretty close. So this is going to be an interesting one to look at. The U.S. dollar is at a very key level also. And as we're speaking right now, the euro is making a 61% retracement of that move that we had all the last couple of days from 114.20, it dropped 70 pips down to 113.50. And this, uh, the 61% retracement comes in within three pips of where we are right now, which is at 113.91. 113.93 is going to be the 61%. And we just hit it. So we'll see if that's going to mean anything or not. I see Maria has nailed the gold one more time. Let's give a... Uh, uh, let's hear the sound of one hand clapping for Maria. God bless you, dear. Another nice little $5 move in gold. Uh, she bought that down there at three oh seven. Well, $4 move in gold. It's already jumped 4 bucks. so terrific. You've got a great eye, young lady. You know, keep it up. The bonds have just broken below that 144 level. Uh, we're trading at 143.30. These bonds look very negative, folks. Uh, as I pointed out earlier in the show, the long-term charts are extremely negative, and even the daily charts now are very negative. We could not get substantially above that 147.02 level. Now we're, you know, two full handles uh, below that. Oh, let's uh, let's try that. Three full handles below that. So that's been a pretty big drop here the last couple of weeks, and it still looks like it wants to. Uh, wants to go more uh, to the upside. So we'll take a look at that. Someone's asked a question is, how do I know whether this uh, 113.93 is going to hold the euro? Boys and girls, there's one thing that I'm absolutely 100% sure of, and that is I don't know. Uh, it just looks like it wants to hold. I mean, I'm just looking at a very, very short-term chart here, a little 30-minute chart. I'll bring it up here to take a look at it, but this is this is all I'm looking at. You know, this is just this tiny little pattern here. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, but, uh, you know, that's uh, that's neither here nor there. We're just trying to see if that level is going to hold it. You don't have any ABCD structure between 113.50 and 113.93. So we don't know if that's going to be the case or not. All I know is that if you did that trade, uh, your 78% level is at 114.05, so you only have to risk $200 to see if you're right. So that's what it's all about. It's determining how much money you risk, not how much money you're going to make. It's very, very important. Talking about the, uh, the market's been pretty strong, but the FANG stocks are still having trouble. They really are. So it's going to be very interesting. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, that's the way it goes. Sometimes it's, it's chicken salad, and sometimes it's chicken soup. You just never know how you're going to mix it. All right, let's move on here to talk about the Australian dollar again. I've been doing a little bit of work with the folks there over in Melbourne, and we've been watching this Australian dollar. Uh, we're still down around that 171 level. We've been here for two weeks at this 382 level, but it looks like it's ready to possibly break to the downside here. Any move below uh, 7070 in this uh, Australian dollar would tell us we're most probably going to look at another 100 pips lower down around the 6960 level. That's the way it would look uh, by just looking at the Gartley pattern that would come in at that 61% retracement. The fact that we made that 382 retracement at once at 70, uh, 80, and then couldn't rally to make new highs, we actually went slight rally for about eight days and then come back to retest it. That's not a good sign. So we're assuming that this is going to be heading down a little bit lower, which means that dollar index is probably getting ready to, with the euro and all these others, with the exception of the pound, which is certainly the strongest of all these major crosses, it looks like that would be the one that would be interesting. Because when you look at this dollar index one more time, and you'll notice that uh, you'll, and this is just not updated for the last couple of days, we're still in that same area. We haven't gone any different this whole week than we did last week. So we've just gone sideways here at the 50% level. So it's getting ready to have a pretty big move uh, either one way out of this. Uh, you know, we, we made up, we certainly made a cycle crest here last, uh, last Monday when we got up to that uh, 9720 level that completed the ABCD pattern. But then when it backed off, it just didn't back off very much. So this is not giving you a whole lot of information, so you've got to go down to a, a smaller time frame, like a four-hour or an hour, 
to find an entry spot uh, that looks like it could be, you know, halfway decent. So that's the main thing that you're you're trying to do. Oh, one other thing that I did want to mention to you. Let's put this up here. This was the low that we made in the market way back on December the uh, the 24th. You'll notice that uh, we were having this big A B C D pattern, and uh, we said that if this uh, thing didn't didn't hold, we were going to go down a little bit lower. If you remember, this was on the the 21st of December, and of course, what happened was uh, on the 24th, you'll notice the market had a very strong four or five day move right to the downside, and that happened to be the 61% retracement on the weekly charts exactly at 107.80, I believe was the exact number, hit it spot on, and as you can see, we've had one heck of a rally going up to the 78%, 10 weeks up. Folks, this is two biggest rallies the stock market has had, the Dow since 1987, the two best months ever, and for the S&P, the best months ever from 1991, and that was the Desert Storm War, if you remember, we had that day in January where the market uh, left a gap that has still never been filled in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Well, that's uh, almost the end of the day. we got to wrap it up in a few minutes, pay a few bills. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the uh, New York Stock Exchange Index Weekly to show you the importance of that 61% retracement that came in there at 107.80, and uh, that was spot on. We've had a very strong rally. It's 10 weeks. We haven't had a 10-week rally this strong uh, since Hector was a pup, and he's a full-grown dog now. So this is a very, very important. When we get a pullback here, whatever it is, with an ABCD, you want to get along some of this stuff because – Regardless of what's going on in the economy, this is a bullish chart, folks. There's no other way to look at it. Short term, we're extremely overbought. But uh, longer term, this has got some legs because of the way that it came out of here. It's, when it breaks records like this, you have to pay attention. You notice that Gartley sell that we had on September the 1st. That was a layup. I mean, you had a beautiful Gartley pattern with that. You can see the beautiful uh, diagonal triangles there that are colored in right at the 61% retracement. And uh, that was a, you know really nice when you had the ABCD structure to the downside stopping at that 61% retracement. And now we really had no down weeks here. Well, actually, we did three weeks ago. It was down slightly. It didn't, it didn't, we didn't make any lower low or anything like that. But this is the 10th week that we've been up here in this, so it certainly looks like it's interesting. But it appears that we're going to be breaking uh, some of these uh, key levels of resistance. If we can get the S&P up above that uh, 28.15 today, this would certainly say that yes there is a possibility that uh, we're breaking out and going to go continue higher but we'll need to wait the key things to watch over the weekend of course are the gold market uh, that's going to be really key because if we get down to that uh, 12 uh, 1290 1298 to 1292 level that's going to be extremely important we've had two five dollar rallies here this morning in gold so whether we're going to get much more than that today, I don't know. We went from 1207 all the way up to 1212 and then back down to 1205. $5 up from that takes you up to 1210. So kind of watch the 1210 level. Let's say 1310 and let's call it a day. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!